after the Paleonathus bird lineage, which includes ostriches and rheas. The most basal uh, branch of modern birds is that of Gallo and Surrey. The galliforms or the fowl and the duck-like and seriforms. It is not quite known whether the branching uh, that produced these lineages occurred just before the end Cretaceous extinction or just after, but certainly there were basal galliform birds known by the early Eocene which then are the ancestors of the five families alive today. The family Megapodidae lives in Australia, New Guinea, and Indonesia, and its 21 species, 10 of which are threatened, are known for being large chicken-like birds with smaller heads and large feet, the literal name of their family name. The family Crackidae consists of large birds, which can either be found in trees or some living on the ground, and their fossils are known since the Oligocene. Of the 56 modern species, 20 are threatened, and some are in critical danger of extinction due to habitat loss and hunting. They are only known in Latin America. In specific Latin American countries, such as Paraguay, for example, a diversity of species can exist. There are 35 species in the family Odontophoridae, or New World quails, of which 10 are threatened. There are 8 species in the family Numididae, one of which is threatened, which inhabit sub-Saharan Africa. The vulturine guinea fowl is the largest of these. Some species uh, inhabit more open savanna environments, others live in forests, where they feed on seeds and invertebrates. The largest family in the order Galliforms is the family Phasianidae, known since the Oligocene, which includes more than 180 modern species. Classification schemes have varied, and some have classified the turkeys as a separate family. They are the largest members in this family and are unusual in being native to the New World. Grouse are circumpolar, so they also can occur out of the Old World. Although pheasants do occur in North America, they were introduced here. The majority of species in this family occur only in the Old World. Some were domesticated, such as the chicken. These are large-bodied birds uh, which uh, often live on the ground and are omnivorous in their diet, including both plant and animal material. There are species which are in danger of extinction, such as the Edwards pheasant, uh, which is in danger because of habitat loss and overhunting, and one or two have gone extinct, including the New Zealand quail. 